Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you um, how to make, uh, I guess you'd call it a pencil box um, with a cereal box that could hold just really any size pen or something, I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> so supplies you will need are tape which duct tape, um, you can use clear tape, but I just have this, and this is just some cheapy brand called Basics, and actually, it smells horrible, so my friend gave it to me for free, because she doesn't, she hates the smell of it, and, uh, she gave me a green one and a yellow one, and she gave me this two days ago. Yeah, two days ago, and it was like out to, it had like 10 yards, I think. No, yeah, it had 10 yards, and it has like barely any left now. All right, so then you will need an X-Acto knife. Um, well, I guess an X-Acto knife is optional, but I got one in here, so yeah. Um, and then you need scissors. Ooh. And you don't have to have the X-Acto knife because you have scissors. But the X-Acto knife is just a lot more handy for me when I'm cutting um, tape. So yeah. And you will also need some sort of cutting surface. I'm just going to use a magazine. But the, I do have like a cutting mat in my room, but I just didn't want to bring it out to the office. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing you need to do is take your cereal box and cut off the... Let me cut it off. This is what I show you. You need to cut off the top part where it has all the connector things where you open it and just cut all of those off, even the things on the side. But I've only done this once before, so but the one that I did, I don't have it right now, but the one that I did was really cute. So I thought I'd make it again. Alright. So it does not need to be even at all because this is very uneven. So yeah, and you can use any cereal box that you want to. I just happen to have Cheerios in my, um, you know, kitchen area. So yeah. All right. Next thing you need to do. Um. Well, first let me clarify something. Uh. I'll be showing you how to make two types of pencil boxes, not, this is going to be one video and then there's going to be another one. So this one is going to be like, I want to say like um, like a round, like a cup type one thingy, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, you'll see. Alright, so next you need to cut on the edge, this part does need to be neat. Well, actually, you can always press it, but it's better to um, just do it neat in one, like, you know, cutting, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that. Okay, so I got this side, now I need to do this. And I just cut through the, like, your, the bee guy's eyes. <laughs> but I'm not a murderer. No. Oh, and this one is, whoops, this one is bigger than the others. This one is a 5.6 ounce, so about five and a half, usually. I mean, wait, sorry, no. I don't know, but down here you can read 
I don't know. It says 4.6 ounces. I'm not, I'm not that good at math. I'm only in fourth grade. Don't judge me. Okay. So now, since it got a little ripped at the top when I cut off all the little tab part thingies, I'm going to cut that off. So, you can roll your thingy. <clears throat> Hold on. First, you should... Oh, okay. First, I'll do this because it just makes it a little easier to roll. <clears throat> Take your cereal box and don't be afraid to bend the cardboard. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so, what I'm doing is I'm just, like, totally, like, bending it and getting it getting creases in it that way it can um you know go in a circular motion or stay in a circular motion and do both sides all right so now that i have that it may look a little weird but you can roll with it all right so ne now when you fold it or when you put it in a like circular, like cylinder, you should have this. And you can make yours longer, taller, bigger, smaller, shorter, <laughs> anything you want to. But I don't know. This is the size that mine ended up being because I'm making two out of this. So I don't want one to be huge and then the other one to be super tiny. It came with a bit pen. So this is about perfect size for me. Okay, so now I'm going to take my tape. Sorry. Um, and create the bottom of the box like thingy. And if you don't have like rake like color duct tape, like the duct tape I'm using, because I, like, play with duct tape, if you, if anyone knows what I mean, um, you can always use just regular, either painter's tape, clear tape, or, um, like, what's it called, um, oh, like, real working tape. So, here's what I'm going to do first. Before I start my side, I'm going to take a ruler. Um, I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to just start from one, the zero inch and it needs to be in the exact shape you want. Start from zero inch and measure across your cylinder like this and you can see the ruler through. So mine's about three inches. So now I'm going to take my ruler and measure my tape, and I'm going to make it about 4 inches. I'm going to cut it about 4 inches. Okay. Sometimes with an exacto knife. You cut it, it's sometimes hard. I don't know. I'm not a master at this exacto knife. I got it yesterday, so yeah. This is not working on the magazine because it's sticking. And like this stuff is sticking. I don't know. So I'm just gonna use my scissors. So depending on like I don't know, like the width of your circle or the height. Width. Depending on the width of your circle, how much tape you use is going to vary. But for me, I'm using four strips. Well, actually, I might end up using five. I'm not completely sure. Because it all depends. Like this stuff, you can never... Uh, do something and then with crafts and then expect it to turn out the same unless like you're a master at it like unless you're making like duct tape wallets or something 
even that sometimes doesn't even turn out how you plan. Okay, whatever. But I'm just like going with the flow. If something doesn't work out, doesn't work out. Alright. My two pieces of tape just got stuck together. And this tape is like really cheap. It was like three bucks, I think. And for duct tape, that's pretty cheap. Well, for duct, like, color duct tape, because since everyone started using it, the price rised. Okay, so I'm going to use four strips, not five, because I have figured out how it is going to, you know, like, stick on there, I guess. Alright, so now I'm going to just trim the edges, and trimming the edges with an X-Acto knife is pretty hard. I can do it, but I think it's kind of hard. So just use scissors. It'll make life easier. Alright, so now when I put my cylinder cup thing on top of my you know, tape, it would look like this. So what I'm going to do is, I didn't mention this, that you need this, but you need a pen. And I'm going to place my square down. It should be a square right now, not a circle. And I'm going to place my cylinder cup thingy over it. And put my pen on the inside and trace the circle on the tape because duct tape marks real easily. Alright, so where's my thing here? <laughs> and it's not that good, but it doesn't need to be. Okay, so next I'm going to just trim all the extra tape. But I want to leave just a bit on the outside of my stencil. So, do you see there's just a little bit on the stencil? Alright, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the, like, length of my cardboard, which is about five and a quarter inch. Sorry, that ruler is aluminum, so it's a lot of noise. Oh, and if I didn't mention already, this video will have a part two, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get five and a quarter inch pieces of tape. I'm going to get one five and a quarter inch piece of tape. And I'm going to... You could do it on the inside or outside, but I'm doing it on the inside. Actually, you know what? I'll do it on the outside. So I'm going to do it on the outside, and I'm going to tape the two thingies together. And just, you know, I put it on one, like, put it on one side, then you put it on the other to connect, because that just makes it so much easier. I can't even express how much easier it is. Alright, uh, so yeah. I'm trying to get it on the straight because I don't like it when my films with duct tape are not straight because it just bothers me a lot. Because if I'm going to be using this, yeah, uh, and it's not straight, I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, can I fix that? But I never get up to fixing it, so I just throw it away. <laughs> Or like my tape ran out or something, so I can't fix it. <clears throat> and then I take the color tape off, then it breaks, and I just end up throwing it away. So yeah, story of my life. Alright, just kidding. Um, now I'm going to fold the extra stuff over. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. And I don't think... 
that I, it doesn't bother me that it's a different color than the thing because it the color matches and I kind of like how it's showing a little because then sorry you couldn't even see that but then like you hold it this way you could see some yellow tape and then you could see like the Cheerios I like it okay so next this is going to be or this is part one so please watch part two see you at part two bye